Yeah, there was the, um, the, the storage is cheap, why can't we just keep everything forever argument. And to be clear, that was never a good idea, but we are seeing better recognition of that now. And I think the main reason behind that is an increasing focus on privacy, increasing awareness of, of our obligations around data privacy. Regulations like GDPR obviously have a, a part to play in that. So there's a, a few points to, to think about here. So first one, storage is cheap. Storage really isn't that cheap anymore. So the volume of data that organizations are storing is growing exponentially. Robust cloud storage can cost you a significant amount of money. So anyone who's pricing up additional storage for Microsoft 365, for SharePoint Online, or sizing disks for virtual machines in Azure, you're gonna know storage isn't, isn't cheap anymore. The next thing to think about is data quality. So your users are searching files and emails to find relevant information. So you might even be looking at AI tools, things like Copilot for Microsoft 365 um, to, to boost your productivity. If you're storing information that's out of date, inaccurate, duplicated, potentially litigious, whatever it might be, you're, you're not going to get good results from that search or from that um, from that AI platform. So in other words, your signal to noise ratio is going to be poor. So keeping only what you really need to keep um, can uh, boost effectiveness there. Final point to think about here would be your responsibilities and risks. So every piece of sensitive information that you're storing comes with a responsibility. It's on you to make sure that you're, you're managing it properly. It also carries a risk. Every piece of information carries a risk. There's a risk that if you suffer a, a data leak or a security breach, that information is going to be exposed. By only keeping what you need to, you're managing that risk, you're minimizing that, um, that risk.